When you're reading up on the different projects taking place within your company, you shouldn't have to hunt around for all the meeting notes, tasks, or associated docs that are related to that project. In Notion, you can link these all together so that you and your teammates have a quick path to find all the relevant pages you might be interested in. Keep watching to learn how to connect different databases in Notion and provide your team members with more context for the work at hand. In the sidebar, you'll find what we call top-level pages. Picture these as the main folders for your company. Departments can create their own folders to organize their specific information. Or you can create a folder for company-wide info that all teams share, like this meeting notes page. This projects database holds information about each project the team is working on. Click on any project name, and you'll see that every project has its own page. There, you can store many types of content, from code snippets and videos, to PDFs and Figma files, so it's all organized in one place. At the top of each database page, you'll find what we call properties, pieces of information about each entry. In this case, the team decided to showcase every project's timeline, product manager, engineer, team, and priority. Every time a new project is added to the database, the project owner can fill in the blanks. or add other property types like numbers, text, multi-select menu, and URL. Remember that in this video, we will connect projects in this database to their corresponding tasks and meeting notes. Before we show you how to do this, let's have a quick look at these two other databases. Every entry in this database is a specific task that an engineer needs to complete, whereas the projects database has more general, high-level information about larger initiatives within the company. Every task in this database is its own page. But notice how the information looks different. This is a board view, where entries are grouped by their status, as opposed to plotted on a timeline like the project database. What's great about Notion databases is that you can choose to view the same information in different ways, as a table, board, timeline, calendar, list, or gallery. Find out more about database views in this video. Finally, you can see that Acme Inc. uses this list database to store all their meeting notes. Again, click inside any meeting note to add, edit, or consult content inside. Now let's do the connecting. In the Projects database, click inside a project. In the Property section at the top, click on Add a new property, name your new property, in this case we'll call it Tasks, hover your cursor under Property Type, and here, you will select the Relation property in the Advanced section of the dropdown. This pop-up will ask you to select the database you want to connect to your current database. Either select your database from the dropdown or search for it in the search bar. Once you see it, click on it and hit Create Relation. Your Projects database is now connected to your Tasks database. I'll repeat the same steps to connect to the Meeting Notes database. Here you have it, two new properties, one for each connected database. Now, what we want to do is select the tasks that are relevant to each project. Click in the empty section next to the property, and all the entries from your tasks database will show up. Then click on the blue plus buttons next to each task you want to link to. Once you're done selecting all your tasks, Simply click outside the dropdown, and you'll see all the relevant tasks needed to complete every project. Now, if a team member wants to consult a task associated to the project, there will be no need to search for that task in the tasks database. All they will have to do is click on the relevant task page, and it will open up like this. Note that when you add a relation property to a database, the same relation property is automatically mirrored in the related database. In other words, You'll see the connected project appear as a relation in your tasks database, as well as in your meeting notes database. Click here to rename it, and click on the project to be taken back to the project page. The same steps apply if we want to connect meeting notes that are relevant to the project. Click in the empty space next to the property, select the notes that apply, note that you can find your pages faster by typing their names in the search bar, and voila! Now, let's switch to table view to see what a fully connected projects database looks like. This is where you can truly see the benefits of related databases. Now, any team member can jump into a project and have full context. 
all the tasks and meeting notes related to a project are bundled together. Plus, you can imagine how this improves collaboration between cross-functional teams. Finally, since relations go both ways, you can easily add a task to your tasks database and specify the project it's related to from here. The same goes for meeting notes. That's all you needed to know about connecting your projects with tasks and meeting notes. This video showed you how to connect databases in Notion, so you can help your team be on the same page about a project, no matter when or where they're connecting from. We hope you're now well-versed in this powerful feature.